hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is my life boy and in this video i'll be telling you big but simple secrets in marriage secret number one everyone has a weakness it is only god who doesn't have a weakness if you focus on your spouse's weakness you will never get the best of their strengths. Number two, every marriage has its own challenges. Marriage is not a bed of roses. Every successful marriage you've seen that has lasted have gone through their own fire. They've gone through their own waters. They've gone through their own tests. True love proves itself in times of trouble. Listen there, eh? there will be troubles in your marriage. Fight for your marriage. Decide you will see that marriage to the very end. Make up your mind to stay with your husband for better or worse till death do you part. And both of you, walk and fight for the peace of your marriage. Number three, every marriage has different levels of success. Don't sit around and say, eh, Kechi or Kere or Ademola, their marriage is sweet, it's amazing. Ah, see, they have cars, they have houses. No. Don't stay here and compare your chapter 1 to another person's chapter 12. Understand that we can never be equal. Some will be better than you, some will be worse than you. Some will be far above you, some will be behind you. To avoid unnecessary marriage stress, don't compare your marriage with anyone else's marriage. Work hard, believe in your dreams, and with patience and time, you will get to that dream that both of you have for your marriage. Number 4. To get married is declaring war. You must declare war on enemies of your marriage. Simple. You must declare war on ignorance, prayerlessness, unforgiveness, unnecessary third party influence, stinginess, stubbornness, disrespect, cheating. Be ready anytime to fight and maintain the peace of your marriage. Number five. There is no perfect marriage. Even me talking to you, my marriage is not perfect. Just get ready. All your mask gets set. Go. Be ready to work on your marriage. There is no ready-made husband. There is no ready-made wife. There is no ready-made, you know, marriage. Just say, chase this marriage. And we will work towards perfection. Simple. Understand that God will not give you the complete package or the complete person that you desire. They would always come into your life as a raw material. It is left for you through prayer, patience, to build the kind of man or the kind of woman you desire. You can never get any man or any woman to be 100%. They are not angels. I'm not an angel. My husband is not an angel. But we love ourselves like that. Number six, getting married is a huge risk. You cannot predict what will happen in the future. Your husband that is rich now may lose his job and some things may go south. You may get into the marriage and you think that at ah, once you get back home like that, you get pregnant in three or four years, you're done with childbearing. And you'll find out that five years after, you're still struggling. Like me, when I got married, I didn't know it was going to take me time to get pregnant. Try the first year, the second year, I had an ectopic pregnancy and nearly died. Then my child came in the third year. What keeps both of you dead is the covenant that both of you made before God and before his people. You will hold hands together and work on it and pray and believe God for the better. There is nothing like I'm checking out. We are not checking out anywhere. You will sit down and make it work. Number seven, never threaten your husband or your wife with divorce. Don't do that. Don't give an enemy space to get into your marriage. Marriage will always have issues. Both of you are imperfect. Things will always happen. But you will decide, both of you will decide to stay married and ask God to intervene and help both of you. And think about it. Is there anything too hard for God to do? Nothing. There is nothing too hard for God to do. Finally, every marriage has a price to pay. Nothing good comes easy. Marriage is like a bank account. It is what you deposit into it that you withdraw. If you don't deposit love, peace, harmony, patience, forgiveness into your marriage, you are in for a lot of life. Marriage is honorable and the bed on the ground. If both of you decide that this marriage will work, it will work. I really wish you well and I believe and I hope 
that your marriage works out thank you very much guys for staying with me on this very short one don't forget to subscribe and please like and share this video bye